join us on day five here in Spain. We are currently still in Barcelona, but today we're going to be taking the train back to Madrid. But first, before we do that, we're going to head on over to the Sergata Familia. So come and join us. Today. church, isn't it? bump a little a little bit of bump right there and yeah and, and when the bomb landed all these bricks went flying up in the air So here in this plaza is where the city of Barcelona has a lot of their government buildings. It's also a very known square for protests. Hey there. So we're about to head to the Sagrada Familia. It's a real big church that they've been building for well over a hundred years. in person than seeing photos online. Look at that, they're almost done. They're almost done. Well over a hundred years they've been building this church. And I believe they say it's gonna be in a few years. They will be officially finished. Just the undertaking to build this. up there. Hey honey. Nice spot we found. 
isn't it? Lucas uh, found a playground. You gotta go, Lucas. Vamos. Good job. So this is what we were gonna do yesterday, but we were sick. So unfortunately we missed the opportunity to go around the whole city on the tour bus. Kind of disappointed we weren't able to do that. So I'm just gonna take a little walk around the church. No idea it was around the area. Those cars are pretty cool. Go car. Look at the details on this peak. Top of the steeple. That's good to know. Look at that, they're almost done. Gosh, how do they get those cranes up there? You can see they're working on some of the pillars here on the side. Some facade work still going on. So you can really see the construction that's happening on this side of the church. Or as they call it here in Spain, the Basilica. Now I'm at the back side of the church. Look at the difference. Man, they make this side look so much older. Look at that, what they're bringing up. So many people here. Looks like this is one of the entry points. bucket way up there now. Now they're moving it across. Wow. We planned this trip to basically make it a Madrid trip. So when we come back, it's going to be uh, basically Barcelona, maybe more of the northern part. Because I would love to stay here much longer. <laughs> he loves the street performers, especially the singers. Yeah.
Okay, I'll give you some coins. Good job. All right, let's go find mom. Across the street. Liking the church? Yes. So no, it's beautiful. Not it's not that old. Like looks like we're moving here. Mmm. I think she would love that. Look how amazing this church is. Wow. <laughs> Yep, they're bringing another bucket up. Yep. Scaffolding, it looks like. Daddy! Yeah, Daddy, what, what is it? It's not old, see? Look, you can't it's not that old, you see? It's a Correct. There. Yep, some of the parts of the church are old, some is new. Because they've been working on it for many, many years. So when we were on the MSC cruise ship, he got a chocolate ship. But I have a feeling <laughs> that this will not fit in our luggage. He just asked me if we can buy it. <laughs> How many days do you think it would take you to eat this? Wow. A hundred. Oh my gosh, Lucas. Look at this. That's crazy. How do they do this? That can't be solid chocolate. I'm sure it is. So you see this all throughout Spain. We actually bought some uh, nougat dark chocolate bars from here for Grandpa. So Lucas wanted some French fries at McDonald's. Just French fries because last time we were sick. Yeah, you had those nuggets and I don't think they work out very well for your tummy. And one thing about so being at McDonald's. They charge extra for sweet and sour. Okay. 25, no. 25, 25 cents. Welcome to Europe. Yep. Charge for extra sauce. Yep. So when you're here at different McDonald's, you can try different items. We don't get back in the States. So this is a honey mustard chicken sandwich. This is actually new on their menu. And it actually looks pretty good. It's got some good cheese on there. Got some sauce. And I already had a bite and it's actually one of the best chicken sandwiches I've had at a McDonald's. And we are actually right across the church. Pretty cool. And guys, there was a chocolate church. I know, we showed them that. It was pretty impressive, wasn't it? All right, bon appetit. Buen provecho. <laughs> Ole. 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 to get back on the train to Madrid. Did you have fun in Barcelona? No. I did not have fun in Barcelona because we're leaving, but I did have fun. Aw, oh, you sad he's leaving. Here we go. Leaving at 150.
slept Barcelona. a lot. So we're back in Madrid. Yep, this guy slept the whole way. About two and a half hours. And I slept with one eye open. <laughs> so this is the train station, everyone getting off. All right, let's go. Find our way back to the hotel. Okay, we're back in Madrid. And on our way to our hotel, we've come across Sweet Pirate. I believe they have a couple of these throughout Madrid. Nothing but candy. Let's go see what Lucas found. Look at that. It's tennis balls. Oh, I love those licorice. Those are so good. I want this, though. I want this rainbow in your head. Ooh, those do look good. They're going to be sour, aren't they? Yeah. Look at those licorice. Wow. So much sugar. Look at these fingers. Finger ah, fingers. Fingers? <laughs> no. I prefer toes. I don't know, those may actually look like toes. Strawberry. Evelyn, chocolate covered pistachios. Lucas, look at this one. Snakes. Oh, yeah, you like the treasure. Ew, my balls. Balls are nice. Yeah. Pretty cool. I think we need to grab a bag and start dishing. Actually, I want that. We're doing something to the horse statue. Almost as if they're lifting it up. Maybe improving the foundation of it. Wow, so much stuff going on here. All right, let's keep going. I got some cafe con leche. A little hungry, and I'm glad I can eat now. So, literally, it was a 24-hour stomach bug that we all had. Yep, we sure did. And I've not been able to eat much. Today, I had, oh gosh, what did we have this morning? Can't the even cinnamon think. cinnamon roll. A cinnamon, yeah, we shared a split. cinnamon roll. <laughs> we split that. I try to have some coffee in the morning, but I can only have a few sips. It just did not settle with me. So, this tastes... A whole lot better. Mm. And we found somebody. Who, Who did, did we, we find at the hotel? Show us, show us. You left him. Sonny! But they saved him for you. Hey. I, can't Sonic. I can't believe I get to be on this video. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we ordered some lasagna and some croquettes. So hopefully that will get us up and going again. I agree. You're right, Lucas. So we're still here sitting and we just missed it. They took the statue off the column. The horse is missing. Lucas noticed it right away. They're stealing the statue. No. no. They're probably fixing it, right? Can we go see what they're doing? All right, here's a better view of the statue. They're wrapping it up. Looks like they're going to be doing some work on it, or maybe just the stand. See the pedestal there may need some renovating.
video. Plaza Mayor. Wow. Let's do a 360 view. 360. Whoa, Lucas. Where are you? This is the larger plaza here in Madrid. Surrounded by this huge building that encompasses the entire plaza. And we have another horse statue. So this is definitely what they call a tourist trap, this plaza. So all these restaurants around here, you're probably not getting true, authentic Spanish food. Everything's gonna be a little, little bit more expensive. And there's Lucas and Evelyn. How do you like this statue? I don't like our statue because it's gone. I know it's gone. They took it down. Yeah, this guy looks pretty cool though. But I'm pretty sure he was very important, right? We just finished eating, so we came back to the San Miguel Market to look at some of the dessert stands. So we're gonna find some sweets to eat. Hello, All right, here we go. Kind of falling apart a little bit. So this is kind of like a lemon meringue pie. Very good. The lemon is just oozing out of it. Little messy. Very good. Here is something for you seafood lovers. Look at that octopus. Got some shrimp. Goodness, I think I'm gonna stay away from that. My stomach will not be able to handle that. Good. Come on, Lucas. 
also be able to photo op. We're here at Gran Via and Showtime. So this is the line. And you can get a little photo op taken. Just like you're on the red carpet. like a Spanish series on Amazon. Looks like they're interviewing some of the stars from the show. Here's another angle. Of the interviews. I wonder if anybody famous is actually in the series. My wife may know some of them. So I kind of find this hilarious. I think Showtime is trying to show off uh, Amazon Prime. Amazon Prime here. Showtime. Super DJ right here. a new square on one of the rows that lead to Del Sol and look what I found a big billboard looks like a pretty good action series as so we just saw the actors go down the red carpet and then this is a pretty neat theater and if you look way up there I think we got a dragon coming out of one of those one of those mythical creatures <laughs> 